today we, now we are going to discuss about how you know how you find a table without even going to a transaction code uh, to a particular transaction code related to the business process you will be you are a layman and you want to know what is the table behind a particular business document so how you will do it so easy way you go to google but in google also you need to be smart enough or you need to be smart enough or you need to be very specific on what you are searching because google searching is also a skill so here in sap we have something which is very very nice it's the transaction code is sc16 okay and here what you do once we go here uh, i have already discussed one portion of it where you can find a transaction code for a particular business process now here i will talk about how you can find a table so how you can find a table related to this it's very simple so here same thing I put purchase, or suppose I want to see purchase order. Purchase, already giving a lot of it. So, so we can see, it's already coming down here. You see, I want to see purchase document. So instead of going to a C11 and doing all these things, this works wonders. So purchase, and if I want, so you see, so here you can see now if you want purchasing purchase order here sap has defined it in the purchasing document header purchasing so here you know everything okay purchase order list you don't have to search anything this is very handy okay the same thing i'll do for my my fico friends it's like uh, invoice invoice so if I go to invoice, let's see, you'll have some invoices coming down. Uh, there would be some invoice. These are CFDI and all those things. Uh, so this invoice is coming. This is the S4 HANA system. So there might be some other tables. Now you can say, um, let me see. Uh, these are all the invoice tables. All I need to search with vendor, vendor, and if I search with vendor, I get all the new tables, CVI, and all those things. And let me see whether we get LFA1 and others here. There is LFA1, you know, so you can see all the vendor tables here. And if you, I don't know what, how can I connect this insert favorite, so let me see, probably it gets saved somewhere okay let me go try something uh, last time i tried and it didn't work i probably get saved into the value help uh, so here so here you can see it takes me to directly to se16 and probably and here if i click on insert favorite okay okay it takes me here lfb1 so now let me see what really it happened so I'll create a new session and I just want to understand where it, it really saves it. So if I go to SC16 and here if I do a function F4, does it add here? Uh, no, it didn't add here. So uh, uh, probably there's some way where you can add this. So it's saying it's getting added somewhere. So it's, this piece doesn't I can crack it. Sorry. So now let's 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 click on this selection criteria all language. Now let's go to the sales order. Suppose you want to see sales order uh, table. Okay. So we we'll go sales and we we'll click order. Oops. I mistype. Let's see the mistype thing. Is it taken into account? Does I get the V ones? Yeah. You see, I get the V stuffs. Probably I need to put an O, but it's trying to find the order. Okay, so and again, sometimes you know it depends upon how SAP has defined. So you might say, why V back and V 
web app is not coming so probably the name is written differently so if i put sales here probably then vbap and vvac will come so down it's pretty slow uh, so let's go uh, t, i'm in the t section i'm still in the t section it's t section see here you can see so there we call it sales document header that's why it was not coming okay but we always say oh it's sales order you know we never say like purchasing document we try to see purchase so that was the thing so we, now what we can do we can search since it's s4 we'll search business partner okay. everywhere we are hearing bp 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 so search some business partner page so here we put business and we put part and here you get all the bunch of business partner you see hierarchy group the bank data you can think of okay so these are very, very good things so this is really nice nice this wonderful thing cvi custling cvi event link these are very important stuff that in s4 hunt now let's let's try to please my mm, work management team so let me see work order or i don't know what we call work order or uh, production order or pm order i think best thing here to be i'll just put order okay, because we saw how uh, you know the description can be sometimes misleading just put down i know for sure AUFK, CFK, so this is for PP order, maintenance hall, header, so you know, and then I'll just go page down a little, and then I'll see the order master data. Okay, you see here, so these are very, very important stuffs that I'm doing. Now, anyone less to please, because lots of time I say I do something, and you know, everyone's complaints, oh, you didn't pick my one, you know, nothing. There's nothing personal, but I want to please everyone because there's so many modules available. So now I'll go for the the mother of all modules, Material Master. Uh, so I'll put Material mm, Material. So if you go to Material, and I'll just go down. Okay, so you have a bunch. Just want to see whether the the module is there. So we scroll down, scroll down. So here you, you can see all these views are also showing. These are brand new views, CDS views that that uh, that SAP has built. Okay. So now here you can see our much related transaction. Mara is there, Mar C is there, and Mar D is there. So these these are very important tables just to understand whether there is something for men. Uh, so I will select manager. Oops. So here. So, so let's see whether there is anything for managers. So here you can see there's some managers also. So whether there is really something important things, but no, these are just attribute manager. Nothing on the HR side. Now, um, but no. I have please more of the people. Let's check something related with Ariba. Okay. So I typed in the wrong. I didn't type the wrong, but you know, it's nice to find a wrong. So I now search for Ariba and I do P. And here you can see all the Ariba ones. Okay. So sign Ariba network and all those things. This is one. Now, the next one I can think of, we have Vim installed here. Let me see what more we can see. Oh, main thing, ABAP. You might say ABAP. Do we have the table for ABAP? Probably. I don't know. So there is a general table data view where you have CDS view. What it does, this table? I don't know. We can try to see. So we will just execute. 
and we it tells me the name or something. So data dot. So this is the name of the DT object. This is the oh, something um, for CDS views. Okay. Uh, what about this ESS mapping of adapter web plus? Okay, so okay another time since I'm a workflow consultant I cannot leave workflow out. Okay, so I will just check workflow also Okay, so I will go here and you can see all the workflow tables you can think of Okay, so business these are new this one push pull notification these are brand new stuff uh, but the the original ones this is the the most important table the head table and you have other tables that that might you might be thinking oh this is the way to find a table i think for me it's very very useful because you know i don't have to do a weird use list or run a trace lots of times you know uh, i may know the stuff you may not know the stuff like if someone asked about asset or if someone asks, uh, what is the uh, what is the table for cost center? Okay, so I'm just giving an example. Yes, you will be knowing that it's it is CSKS, but you have to keep it in mind all the time, right? So instead, what I'll do is I'll just remember this transaction CSKS. You see, master record. Now the same thing I want to do for suppose uh, asset. I don't know where asset gets stored. Okay, so I'll do here. And I'll put so put ASS. Now let's see. E -D. Okay. So now here I can see all the asset name, you know, asset header and all A and L A or something. You know, these are very important stuff that you don't need to keep in mind. You know, this is the master record segment. Now another thing I want to see is profit center. Okay, so I go to oh sorry. Um, profit so sometimes I forget because there is lots of and especially the D tables the configuration table like I will also go through like the planting okay just for the heck so here if I go here profit and here I'll do profit center so probably I want to reduce the numbers of entries here now if you go here is the profit center table I don't need to search around or Google or something. This is fast, and this will give me the data. That's what I want. Now the next one I was talking about, suppose, is uh, suppose uh, the plant table. So you might say, oh, plant is also table. Uh, oh, hell, everything in SAP is a table. Okay, so you can see. Okay, you can go here, plant. I'll do search. And probably I'll get a bunch of things, but eventually I'll go down and there would be a T table. Okay, so T001, probably something. Yeah, T001W. So, same thing with suppose I want to see purchasing group table. Okay, I always forget this. Okay, so purchasing group table. Purchasing group. I think I didn't put the space. So, oh. The only annoying thing is this when, you know, the search help starts, you know, kicking in uh, the and it tries to emulate uh, fast, tries to derive all the things. So here I'll just put G, I'll put R, I put C, that's it, purchase, purchasing groups. Anything more I want to know? Why not? I want to know the terms table. I don't know where it's payment. I don't know payment so i was want to see payment here e i go to end I go to e. the numbers are not reducing so if you see now i put a space probably now it will reduce terms so same oh it reduced now significantly to terms and now ms so here you can see own explanation payment terms okay so here you can see the explanation you can see the number of entries if i execute i'll know what is the explanation what is it for how much how much is it means it's pay immediately or something like that those are very important stuff that you want to know 
okay now these are other stuffs you can see general table views and other stuffs that you might find very interesting and useful and so so this this transaction is really helpful for any newbies as well as experienced people um, and uh, uh, so try to use it SA16T and just use execute, execute function uh, here find table and try to search with something terms which you know the description that's it so stay tuned to my uh, channel and happy SAP